Hi, John McPhail here from Matex Control Chemical in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I just want to speak to you about our Matex rock drill oil. Matex manufactured rock drill oils. They're an environmentally safe vegetable oil based product. Non-petroleum. All of our products are non-petroleum based lubricants. This is our head office here in Calgary. Some of our manufacturing bays. Uh, these are obviously for our lubricants. We hold uh, raw materials uh, up to about 660,000 liters at any given time of uh, raw oils so that, that we manufacture all of our lubricants out of. This just gives you an example, shows you the polarity of our product. If you can see this oil climbing up this rusty piece of steel, this I believe is over the weekend. It actually climbed up just about three inches. It's the polarity of the product and it's just showing you how good of a penetrating oil it is as well. It would eventually clean that rust off and especially if you put a pressure washer on there after a few days, it would take it right down to where it's a nice and shiny steel again. Some of our customers take it in by the tanker load, some of the mines down in, the, in the Nevada in the USA. Other places it's shipped by totes and drums and 20 liter pails. Some of, the, of, of our customers internationally that use the product, this is a 30 inch diameter hammer, uh, largest single cylinder hammer that was built at that time anyways, and they are using the Matex rock drill oils because they know they can't protect the outside of the hammers, but they can protect the inside of the hammers. Uh, we have a few people in this, in this PowerPoint that I'm going to show you that's benefiting from the use of our our rock drill oil and understand the power of uh, the Matex manufactured fluids. Uh, that's a NUMA. This is a, an Atlas Copco hammer. These, these two, uh, these pictures and the next couple of pictures have actually came from Atlas Copco in, uh, in Africa and it's showing using a petroleum product versus a dead comparison against a Matex rock drill oil. You can see after these hammers were finished, this hammer actually went three times further than this, than this hammer did in, in footage or meterage speaking. And you can see the petroleum product did not keep the rust off the hammer, so you know what rust is doing to the inside of any of the hammers. This is your bit retainer rings out of that same hammer, the same comparison, and even right down to the pistons. You can see how nice and shiny the internal parts are here versus over here. You know what rust does to the inside of anything and it just uh, tears up the inside of the hammers. These are photos again coming from a different contractor uh, used. This is a few years ago and this hammer was used in, in salt water. The hammer is actually in here. It was built in a can and it's a large diameter hammer. I think it's like a 20 inch hammer. It was in salt water and it had been laid down for three years and not even taken apart. You can see that they couldn't even unscrew the drill pipe. They had to cut it off at the, at the interchange. It was a reverse circulation job. Once they got the hammer opened up, they started to pressure wash it from the backside. And you can see the Matex lubricant was still in there and it was starting to come out. You can see a little bit of rust formed in there, but that rust is being formed on the top of the film that is actually that the Matex oil puts on the, on the parts. Once the piston is out, you can still see there's still some lubrication there. This thing was, was buffed up, as well as the inside is the barrel, it was all buffed up. There's the barrel, there's the pistons and the other internal parts. The only thing that they changed out was these springs and they put this hammer back together and actually re-rented it back out again. So it's a pretty good testament as to uh, how the oil coats things and keeps the tolerances inside of these hammers and keeps the, the uh, hammers working question that we usually get is foam. What about foam? Foam is a detergent. It washes petroleum product off. It does not wash off the Matex uh, manufactured lubricants. Will not do it. Larger hammers, again with Atlas Copco, their rental fleet of uh, uh, cluster hammers, you can see RDO is going out the door with them as well. All kinds of different manufacturers trusting and using Matex manufactured product. This is a an old picture from about uh, 20 years ago. You can see how from drilling the OD of the case had been wore down. Paper thin, this hammer had been taken apart and miked. All the parts from the inside, the OD of the piston and the inside of the case. You can see it's just paper thin right here and the internal parts were still within manufacturer's uh, specifications even when the outside of the hammer was wore like that. 
Here is just another testament. We have a soluble uh, rock drill oil and a non-soluble rock drill oil. Up top here is the non-soluble rock drill oil. It's milky because the fish are actually swimming in a little bit of the oil and that's what makes it soluble. But you can see it's a vegetable product. The fish actually are attracted to it. They actually like it. We have, still have these fish here today and they're about seven inches long at this point. Another quick case study from uh, Chile. This was with a uh, Mincon hammers. And what we're really showing here is when we can hold the internal um, tolerances to manufacturer's specifications, the production is huge. We can keep the penetration rate exactly as to when the hammer was brand new versus being a wore out one. Uh, we have all kinds of uh, testimonials to back up everything that I'm showing you here. Uh, just giving you a quick overview, but to get to this 6300 meters or 6400 meters, when we, they used the Matex manufactured oil, we got there actually 23 hours faster because we were able to keep the tolerances on the inside the same. Then this actual hammer actually went another 40% further than the other hammer did. So again, a huge, huge savings and a great, a great testament to the product. Uh, just some technical data comparison. What you're going to look for, we get asked these questions quite a bit because these are just industry standard tests. Uh, here's the, the some petroleum products information across here. Here's ours. Viscosity, we're half the viscosity, but people always ask, well, you know, John, the, 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 the product is quite light. What you want to look for is the stability in a lubricant for downhole hammers, and that's in your viscosity index. That's where you want to go. We're greater than 230, which is twice as much as uh, the petroleum products. And then there's more information here, including the Tim, Timken bearing uh, load and the Falex EP test. Uh, any information that you want on any of these to understand it better, I find it on, uh, on Google. It's, they have a great explanation on there. Uh, we have more videos and more detailed videos and more information to support anything that I spoke about here on our website at uh, matex-ccc.com. I hope this gives you a good idea as to what Matex manufactured lubricants can do out there. Thank you for watching.